Hey guys, this is Allie with iMore, and today we're going to look at uh, something that's very simple to check and something I recommend everyone checking. Uh, before they purchase a used iPhone 4, uh, whether you're on Verizon or AT&T, really, I don't think should make any difference. This is a GSM model, um, and this is normally the model that you're going to see traded or bought or sold on eBay or Craigslist. If you're buying locally, which I highly recommend, you're always going to want to check the phone for water damage. I get a enormous amount of clients that come in that purchase a phone off of Craigslist or, you know, another third party site and the phone works and then it stops working. So the first thing you want to check for is water damage. This is typically the culprit. The phone might work okay for a bit and then it gives out. So, um, Apple puts four water sensors in these. Uh, the first place you're going to want to look is in the bottom of the headphone jack. Um, there's a little white circular uh, water sensor down here. You probably can't see it in the video, but shining a flashlight in there will show you. Um, what you're looking for is to make sure that these are white and not red. Uh, there's another one that's in the dock connector. If you're looking at the back of the phone, it's right in the center here. It's a square that sits right in the back of the dock connector. That should be uh, white as well. So if you don't want to take the phone apart, um, those are the two easiest ones to check. Just bring a you know a pocket flashlight or something with you when you go to meet up with someone to buy a phone off of them. Make sure those aren't damaged. If you want to take it one step further, the two inside are not hard to check at all. All you're going to need is a security screwdriver or a regular screwdriver, depending. I would probably just bring both with you if you have them. Um, if you do have that ability, there is a water sensor that covers the screw to the logic board right there. And you want to make sure that's white. And you've also got another one right here above the battery connector. And you want to make sure those are white. Uh, these are two things you're going to want to check before purchasing a used phone. I see many people that get scammed into buying water damaged iPhones, uh, the GSM model particularly, because they can be unlocked to use with another carrier. So they're kind of a hot commodity and they're not cheap. So if you are buying used, at least check the external sensors. Um, and if the person selling it doesn't mind you taking the back off, um, I highly suggest doing that as well. It's just two screws. You can also look up our tutorial on how to remove these. Very easy. You just remove the two screws, pop it up, and the back will slide right off and you pop it right back down. So if you're in the market to buy a used iPhone 4, not on contract, from someone on Craigslist or eBay or something, I highly suggest checking these or shooting the seller an email and asking them to check these and send pictures. So uh, that's an easy way to tell if the phone's been water damaged. It's also a good way for you to get a good look at the components and make sure that, you know, nothing looks off or that the phone doesn't look open. Normally you'll know there will be screws missing or... Um, you know, you might see cables torn or whatnot, and obviously always boot up the phone. If they're telling you it's unlocked, go ahead and pop your SIM in and try it. But always check for water damage before buying a used phone on Craigslist or eBay.